Howdy everyone, Larry here. If setting up email marketing for WooCommerce is giving you a headache, this video is your cure. Unlike several other videos that I've been watching on YouTube, I'm going to actually show you how to integrate MailerLite with WooCommerce, what I'm calling the, the dynamic, dynamic duo of e-commerce success. success. <laughs> I'll take you step by step, no fluff, no frustration, just me and you. So. Let's get started. So how do we set up the MailerLite plugin for WooCommerce? Well, we got to go to our WordPress dashboard. The next step is to go to plugins. So down here on the bottom left, we see plugins. You click on add a new plugin. When you do that, you're going to go over to search and you're going to search for MailerLite. When you search for MailerLite, we want this one right here, MailerLite for WooCommerce integration by MailerLite. Now, if you do not have a WooCommerce store, then you'd want to use this one, MailerLite signup forms. But we're going to click on install now for the MailerLite WooCommerce integration. Once it's installed, we'll see the activate button and we'll click on activate. Once it's activated, you'll be like, where is it? You know, where, where is the little tab that says MailerLite? Well, it's actually under the WooCommerce tab. You'll see it down here at the very bottom. So to continue our integration with WooCommerce, we have to click on that. So let's do that now. The first thing it's gonna ask you is to get an API key. To do that, we have to go over to MailerLite. So if you're not already logged in to your MailerLite account, do that now and then go over to integrations. Under the integrations tab, this is the very first option here, API, click on use. You can see here I've already created one, but I'll create another one just so you see how the process is done. Click on generate new token, enter a token name, LS WooCommerce, all IPs allowed, and then click on I have read and understood the API token requirements and click on create token. Now you're only gonna get your API key once, so copy it in a safe place or download it. We're gonna click on copy and then click on close. Now that we have our API key in hand, go back over to your WordPress and paste in our API key. Then click on connect account. The next step is to select a group where you want your WooCommerce customers to be added into. Now I already have a group created and that is called LS WooCommerce Store. You see it right here. If you don't already have a group associated with this new store, then you can create one right here. The next step is to start importing. Now, what is it going to import? When you install the WooCommerce MailerLite plugin, your existing subscribers in MailerLite will have their purchase data synced. If you already have subscribers in MailerLite, it will recognize and match up from the store and your subscribers. Makes sense, right? Also note that when you click on start import, it may take some time depending how many customers you have in your WooCommerce customer list. We're gonna click on start import. Once the syncing is complete, you'll have some synchronization settings to go through. So we've got our subscriber group. Our next option is to ignore product list. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means that it will ignore products from MailerLite email automation and you can find out information by just mousing over the little question mark there. Do you wanna collect subscriber language data? That's another one. And how many synced fields do you want here? So we have name, email, company, city, zip, state, country, and phone number. Checkout settings. Enable list subscription via checkout page. Recently, WooCommerce came out with block option for a checkout page versus the short code WooCommerce option, and so the interesting thing here is that you still have to select this even if you're using the block and I'll show you that in a little bit because you need to change the subscription checkbox label. The only way to do that is by enabling it here. You also have the option for allowing unsubscribes to join the email list if they resubscribe via the checkout page. And you can also position where you want subscribe checkout box. You can have the subscribe checkout box pre-selected by default, I like to do that. You can also hide it so customers will be subscribed automatically. I don't like that. And here's where you can change what you want to say to people to entice them to subscribe. So you could say, yes, I want subscribe to the awesome newsletter and receive marketing emails. You could make it a little bit more enticing. Okay, we can click on save changes. 
So let's switch over to the WooCommerce checkout page and making sure that we have everything set up for that to accept a Mailalite opt-in, right? Okay, on my checkout page, I have absolutely nothing. So there are two versions of the checkout page that you can do. You can do the short code version or you could do the block version. I'm gonna show you how to use both options here. You wanna click on the toggle block inserter here, the little plus button, and then we're gonna search for checkout. And then we're gonna start off with the classic checkout. And it's a little deceiving here because you think you need to do transform into blocks, but you don't really. If you just click on save here, and then we go to the checkout page here. And if we scroll down here to where we have our opt-in located, You'll see here, this is our verbiage. Yes, I want to subscribe to the awesome newsletter and receive marketing materials, and it is pre-checked. So that is one version of the checkout page. The other newer version is to transform it into blocks, which is what this is saying. So if we transform this into blocks, it does a whole big spread out thing here where you can individually uh, customize it as you see fit. The missing piece to this is the opt-in to Mailalite. And if I click on save and we go back to our checkout page, you'll see here there's no opt-in by default. So you have to add it manually to the checkout block. So how do we do that? So how are we gonna add the Mailalite integration to this new block checkout option for WooCommerce? Well, you would think you would just go over here and then do a search and search for Mailalite. However, nothing's gonna show up. So where is this thing hidden? Well, if you click on any of the boxes here, we can go in to edit them. And if I scroll down here to the bottom of our address here, or maybe down here by shipping options, or maybe payment options, any one of these, maybe perhaps at the very bottom here, we, there's a little add block option. And if we click on that, we're gonna see our Melalite WooCommerce integration. And this will add the opt-in checkbox to our checkout page. And yes, see, here it is. I uh, Yes, I want to subscribe to this awesome newsletter and receive marketing emails. Now, you would think I could go in here and change that, but no. So you have to go back to your Melalite options and edit it here under the subscribe checkbox label. So that's an important thing to note. So now we can click on save. And once it's saved, we can go then test everything out and even make a purchase. Let's go do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this test product. And then we're gonna go over to the Melalite and see what kind of data we've captured. All right, I've submitted my order and we'll see here, I've uh, got one new subscriber today. And so let's go into our subscribers and see what data we've captured. So here is our new subscriber that just made that purchase from our store. And if we scroll down here, we'll see here, we do indeed have total money spent $1 they've made one order and that they did opt in to accept marketing. So that's either a one or a zero, not true or false. Not sure why it's a one or a zero, that's how they made it. But if you see a one here, then they have accepted the marketing. Other options you have here is WooCommerce stats, but I believe this is only through revenue generated through emails because it'll say email subject and that type of thing. It's not from the store itself. So that's some of the data that's been captured by this order from our subscriber and they have opted in to accept our marketing. Now from here, you can go on and do your automation workflow. So if we go into the automation tab, I've already got purchase any product already started here. I'm gonna continue editing. It's gonna work you through the steps we have to select our shop and then our workflow trigger is any product. And then we can go on and send a thank you email, for instance. All right, that wraps up our step-by-step -step guide on integrating Merlalite with WooCommerce. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tips to make email marketing easier for your business. And hey, if you wanna go deeper on Merlalite, I've got some other videos linked here and below that'll help you Take your email marketing game to the next level. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.